This is a short demonstration on how to use Eclipse STS as a tool for preparing DITA documents. As we start Eclipse, we see the standard view that a program would expect to see with the views of tabs across the top and three DITA projects open in the navigator window. The first project is a manual for a software that we've developed. The second is a study that we did for a client and the third one is the demo that we're going to look at today. The first step of the demo is to just build it. So we select the pom.xml file, right click on it, run as, maven install. After about 22 seconds the build is complete in our target directory under ditta pdf we have a demo.pdf file which is the demo document. Now that we've seen how easy it is to turn DITA into PDF, let's see how easy it is to edit a DITA file. We have a simple notices.DITA and we're just going to add some very simple markup. The first thing is to do is to hit the open bracket and we see that we have a context sensitive set of options here. Let's just type a P. Again, open bracket, and here we now we have a, a different set of choices. I'll select from the list to UL. And again, and now I only have the LI as an option. And each time I did that, you could see that the model of available choices came up in that window, the pop up window. Now we've got some very uninteresting data but you get the idea. The other thing I'm going to do is so how easy it is to get this nicely formatted. Again, simple Eclipse tool will help with the formatting. We can also right click and select a validate. It wants us to save the file. No errors. If I remove the bracket and run validate, me to save the file and I now have two errors discovered and down in the problems list I have a complete description of what the problem is and it's tagged so I can fix it and once I fixed it if I validate again no er errors and it's finished. There's a very short description of how a free product like Eclipse STS can be used to edit data files. It uh, requires no proprietary software. It is free. Uh, it only uses the Eclipse STS and the data Maven plugin. Uh, it requires a little bit of configuration, but other than that, uh, it's freely available. I hope this is helpful. Thank you.